Space geeks, assemble. And know I'm with you. I'm watching this because we know tonight a SpaceX rocket is scheduled to blast off from Florida. That will clear the way for the long-awaited homecoming of two astronauts who really want to come home. After nine months in space, if things go according to the plan, Butch Williams and SUNY Williams can begin their journey back to Earth as soon as Sunday. So let's get to CBS News senior correspondent Mark Strassman. Mark, one week turned into nine long <laughs> months. How are they able to come home now? Well, it's a, it's a good question, Rita. They've been able to come home actually all along, uh, at least since September. Their their ride home has been docked to the International Space Station since last September. So that hasn't been the issue. There's always been the, the possibility of coming home. What they've been waiting for, what this launch tonight is all about, is a replacement crew. For the four astronauts to come back, another four astronauts have to go up and take their place to keep the space station up and running on the American side of the space station, at least. And so um, that's what they've been waiting for is this replacement crew, and that's what they're going to get. They're going to have um, another crew come in. There'll be a transition period of a couple of days, and then uh, as soon as this Sunday night, um, the uh, Williams and, uh, and uh, Wilmore will come back finally after, you know, as you said, it was originally scheduled for eight days. It turned into nine and a half months. I mean, kind of a, an unpredictably long business trip, you might say. Right. And, uh, and now they're coming back. All right. So I would imagine that the transition, the handoff from one cruise duty to another is a little more technical than a high five. What do you know about what happens there? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, typically it lasts for five days. In this case, it's going to last for a couple of days because they're because of some food uh, considerations on the station, and it's essentially just an orientation, right? They want to make sure that the new crew uh, has a sense of uh, the latest at the station, where the experiments are, or what what stage they're in, and so forth. Uh, and so they want to they're going to accelerate it a little bit, cut it in half, roughly in half, uh, just make it two days, as I said, rather than five. And, and, and then essentially the the uh, Wilmore and and um, and Williams uh, will come back, along with uh, an American named uh, Nick Haig and a, a Russian cosmonaut too, who is going to come back. Uh, and and when they come home, of course, the saga will finally be over. And 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 while they have said all along that they don't feel abandoned in space, they don't feel as though they've been stuck in space. They love being in space. I'm sure their their families are are eager to get them back. Right. I would have a feeling that they are all having reservations at their favorite restaurants, at least for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe in between. I'm sure they've missed the good food down here on Terra Firma. Nice to talk to you, my friend. Take care. Have a great day.